So if you have to find all the factors for the number 8, that just means take the number 8 and see what you can divide into it evenly. So let's start with 1. 8 divided by 1 makes 8. It doesn't make any decimals, so that means 1 is a factor. If you do 8 divided by 2, that makes 4, so that means 2 divides into 8 evenly. 8 divided by 3 doesn't work, makes a bunch of decimals. 8 divided by 4, that does work. So since 4 divides into 8 evenly, it's a factor. And you could try out all the other numbers as you get closer. You could try 8 divided by 5, 8 divided by 6, those are just giving us a bunch of decimals, right? So that's all the factors. So if you have a bigger number like 60, we always know 1 is a factor. Uh, it's even, so 2 is a factor. Uh, 3 is going to be a factor using the divisibility test, you know, 2, 3, 4, that, that those tests we checked out before. Uh, if you do 60 divided by 3, it comes out to a whole number. 60 divided by 4, that checks out, comes out even. 60 divided by 5, the number ends in a 0, so we know it's divisible by 5. It's divisible by 6. It's not divisible by 7, because look at all the decimals. Not divisible by 8. Not 9. 10 works. Not 11. Let's try 12. 60 divided by 12 comes out to an even number. 60 divided by 13 won't work, I can guarantee you that. Oops. 60 divided by 14 doesn't work. 60 divided by 15, that one does work. And as the numbers get bigger, you can see we're getting less and less factors. 16, 17, 18, 19, those all aren't going to work. 20 is going to work. 21 won't. Not 22, not 23, not 24, not 25. Um, 30 is the next one, I think, if you keep trying with the calculator. And once you get to the halfway point, like 60 divided by 2 makes 30, right? There's no other factors than itself. Oh, and I didn't list that over here. 8 is a factor of itself, okay? These are the factors that I've circled here.